Coach, 49ers this week, 6-0, and oh, looking pretty good. Listen, they just played a slugfest, basically, against the Washington Redskins in Washington. It rained like crazy. It was a sloppy game. Kind of harkens back to that first victory you got here in, uh, yep. against the Jaguars in that rain. It was. It was my first victory, and, and it really turns into a slugfest because, you know, both teams want to control the ball. They don't want to turn over, so everything they do is going to be smashed up inside. That's what you see. You see some really good physical football by the 49ers. Yeah, we'll take a look at some of this film from the Redskins game, and as we look at this first play here, well, Redskins they, couldn't do anything. They come to run a shovel pass, and they mug the front. So because they mug the front, it might have changed the blocking pattern because what happens is they let Bosa go completely free, okay? Don't block him. If they kick him out, they might have something here. But again, they mugged the front, and it probably changed their blocking schemes. So that little tweak right there caused some indecision by that guard. I've been a right guard. I know this job. Don't pass up a color that's right in the hole, coach. Again, they're mugged. They're schemed to mug up front. In other words, put two linebackers in those eight gaps. Right. Pretty little indecision. So still scoreless. This team has been phenomenal holding teams to 10.7 per game, second in the league, coach. Talking about being aggressive in terms of linebacker play, there's a chance for the linebacker to, to, to scrape and make a play or run through, they should. And this is what you're gonna get from here. You'll see the linebacker's gonna run through the B gap, create a little bounce here by the by the running back, and then Bosa, again, is gonna make the play. Alexander's sitting right there just running through and forcing the play to be made. When you think about it, that's Bosa, two impact plays. This is a young player with four sacks on the year. He's made a difference. He's been very active for what, you know, for what style of defense they're playing. Their, their base is a 3-4 for the most part. Um, then when they get into the nickel package, they go to a four-man front and try to rush the pass, put pressure on the passer that way. Well, let's take a look at this. The D-line can apply pressure in different ways, too. Up front here, probably you know, just some miscommunication. <laughs> here, definitely some miscommunications. Again, just understanding that, you know, they had it blocked up on the inside, but again, you know, didn't hear the snap count or whatever, and for, for whatever reason, he doesn't kick back to watch the guy over the top. But this quarterback had a little bit of time. They have man coverage. The tight end's going to be open. He's going to run away from the coverage. And they had a chance. So again, there are some things that you may have opportunities against these guys, but you can't make mistakes. Well, another third and five, still scoreless for Washington. They put up a donut in this game. And this one here is another special move. You see 91 just blows right by the guard here. When you mug the front, they ID it. They're going to turn their line this way. They're going to put the back up here to take the, the linebacker if he comes. Again, they have a chance to protect it. All you got to do is do your job and understand what they're trying to do. They really just bluff the extra man coming. And again, just understand what my technique is, what my responsibility is. You can't let guys free like that, coach. He's too big and strong. No, you can't. And again, they had an opportunity to have somebody get open across the middle of the defense, but if you don't give your quarterback time, you're not going to convert. All right, before we go, we let you get back to scheming up this team. This team has a great rushing attack. I think they're number two in the league in rushing this year. Uh, but you can't go to sleep on their quarterback. He'll make you pay, too. Exactly. And here's an example about being smart about the coverage you're playing. They're going to be in a man coverage here. And again, you're going to see guys turn their backs on their coverages. And when you do that, Jimmy Garoppolo is smart enough to understand what you're trying to do. And he'll just tuck the ball and go for the run. And again, be aware. This is a drop-down player. He's a robber or hole player. He's coming from depth. He's the guy that's got to be responsible. He's got to have vision as to what's going on. His real main purpose is to come down into the hole of the defense and look for crossing routes, but he should also be the guy that's got vision on the quarterback. Well, Coach, a tremendous opportunity for you guys this week with going against them undefeated this year. It's got to be fun heading into this week. Good luck against the 49ers on Sunday. Appreciate it.